So we're hanging out at the KOA and Heath is making breakfast on the grill ah. for the first time ever. Okay, and burning himself apparently. There's so much grease in there already. I gave you this so you could pour the grease out. Yeah, but I'm just gonna do that after. Oh my god. It's a little cold. <laughs> Trying to get some nice clean shot with the French press, but it's been sitting out for like an hour or so. We are hanging out at the KOA today in Myrtle Beach. We've been here for like three weeks. It's been awesome because we can walk to the beach and we have a really, really big site. And so we're like grilling and making s'mores and having a blast. This whole week we've been hosting our friends Carrie and Nate. They're our first couple friends to come stay with us in the RV and they stay for a whole week and nobody's throwing anything at each other and yeah no fights no fights have happened i mean i think they're they still, still here i think they still <laughs> like us tomorrow today is their last full day but we're making breakfast for them outside on the grill this morning some bacon and eggs that we picked up at the store this morning so they're done they're done let's take them off i'm hungry we have to make the eggs too well the eggs are going to be fast cooked Man, listen to that sizzle. I think we had breakfast at 12 yesterday. Brunch. It's fancy. Brunch. Cool, brunch. but then we, you can't have brunch and lunch on the same day because then it's just <laughs> breakfast. So we had breakfast at 12 and then we had lunch at 3. Isn't the whole point of this lifestyle that you can eat whenever you want? never grilled eggs before because like who knew this was a thing they look really good and they cooked pretty quickly plus I can like enjoy sitting outside see how big our site is it's crazy We've got tons of chairs out hammock a grill two well a grill and a fire pit and a picnic table and our own grill making my breakfast taco finally all right, we're getting ready to head to Huntington Beach State Park. I think it's the first time that we've legitimately driven almost anywhere since well, we've like, been to Myrtle Beach. Well, like, why would you drive to the beach when you can walk to the beach that's right there? Yeah, or but shuttle or supposed, bike. This is supposed to be a better beach. So. Yeah, so I'm gonna try it out. Let, let's go. By the way, Kara and Nate are vlogging today too because they have a YouTube channel and they've also kind of what inspired us to start YouTubing. So we're both trying to do vlogging and hanging out. So it'll be interesting to hear how, see We've how that goes. We've never like vlogged with someone else. Yeah, that's not like, it sounds like a weird thing. Like, if you don't know the context, it's like, we're vlogging together today, all of us. Mutual no, vlogging. No, it's not, you're making it dirty on purpose. Do you have our beef cut? Double vlogging today. Pound it. Nope, point, okay. Okay. <laughs> I just woke up from a nap, but I believe we're at the state park. How are you? Hi, Good, how are you? How are you Five bucks a person? Pardon me? Five bucks a person? Five per. Yes, sir. How many four? Yes, sir. Yep. That's uh, $20. So what all is there to do in the park? There's a uh, map, and guess what? Things to do in the park. Ah. Right. <laughs> there you go. It's almost like you get that question a lot. Thank, Thank you. you. Some good vlogging tips from Nate. Watching Nate and Kara do their thing. Film, film his vlogger walk. I already got it, but I'll get it. To, I'll get it again. He stopped doing it as soon as I started filming. <laughs> We're at the beach. Yay! We saw there's like a spot down there where there's like zero people. So there's either something wrong with it, or that's where we're gonna make camp for the afternoon. Make camp, I like it. <laughs> so we just got here, the uh, state park beaches so far look a lot nicer just than all the other beaches in Myrtle so far. By nicer, he means less drunk frat parties are there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> 
went from like an insanely packed beach to this. <laughs> You're looking at what my next couple hours is gonna look like. Chilling on the beach. You're looking at alone. her favorite thing to do. <laughs> Nobody. Except for these guys. playing like our sixth game of spike ball and we were on game point and it's I was like 20 to 19 we were up yeah and, and then I, I, go ahead Heath goes to hit the ball and instead body slams me in the hand yeah and it is a little bit painful I feel like I should make sure and definitely say that it was a 100% accident yeah I tell him all the time that he hurts me on accident like every single day and he's like no, I never do that. What are you talking about? So, proof. There's no proof, dude. We didn't get this on camera. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I love you. You're okay, though, right? I think so. I probably should put ice on it, though. Yeah. I feel it, like, stiffening up. Like ice cream. I think we're going to Dairy Queen after this. We had a really awesome day at Huntington Beach. We had the whole place to ourselves. Well, like, the part of the beach where we were, because it's three miles long. And we played a lot of spike ball. Heath and I lost a majority of the games, but we got, you know, we worked well as a team. I feel like that's what really matters, not the fact that we lost five games in a row. Until my injury, and I don't know, I can't make a fist. I'm sure that means something doctory, but I need some ice. And so we're gonna go get some ice cream. Next best thing. A couple days ago, Kara and Nate came back to the RV just feeling terrible, and they, they've told us that it was because they ate at this place called the Cookout, and to never ever let them go back there. They didn't even want to think about the food. And so then they took us back to cookout. So I guess we're getting milkshakes. We're not gonna regret it. It's gonna be worth it. Spoken like a true addict. <laughs> uh, milkshake with chocolate chip mint and Oreo. I got coffee and peanut butter and M&M's. So right. a little bit of everything. Oh, you thank you. Mm, ooh, I can smell the peanut butter. Yeah, I can see it. Let's see the first sip. That's so good. Mmm, look at all the spice on here. That's flavor. All right, <laughs> I've got roughly a fifth of my milkshake left. Let me see. I'm starting to feel a little bit terrible. Yeah, I feel huge. But I kind of just want to power through and finish it. We were gonna go jump in the pool after this but I'm afraid that I'll feel like a cow. <laughs> it's been fun. Our first cookout experience, I'm a huge fan of their french fries, and I'm very critical of french fries, so like that's really saying something. Yeah, and they accidentally gave us a free burger, so I ate yeah, that too. Yeah, that helps. That could be also why I'm feeling bad. Whatever. So, cookout, yes, no? Yeah. I would encourage it. What part of the country is if it? If you want to like gain massive weight and you're on a budget. All right. I've been icing my hand. How's it feel? It doesn't feel like it's broken or anything, but it's definitely like really stiff. Yeah. I accidentally like tried to like grab something when I was like in the shower and it was like dying. I'm sorry. I know it I know it sounds lame, but I'm kind of proud of us for doing enough physical activity that warrants actually maybe getting hurt. I'm not glad that you got hurt, but it's like as a kid you get hurt all the time and then as an adult you don't like scrape your knee you, you, you don't do a ton That's of stuff. That's the point. Like you're supposed to like learn enough so you don't get hurt anymore. I guess so. I'm sorry you got hurt. I'm proud of us for playing like eight rounds of spike ball today. It was fun. I forgot to put on sunscreen. Can you tell? I didn't. I like double layered up and wore my hat. You should so. have told me like, hey, put on sunscreen. I feel like you're growing up. By the way, Alyssa got a new sweet sweatshirt. I'm obsessed with this sweatshirt. 
So Winnebago sent us a bunch of uh, tool, cool t-shirts and swag. More importantly, Winnebago recognizes that our RV is the coolest RV that they've <laughs> ever made. Well, so it's on all the swag. So I feel like I'm just like repping my house. They, they recognized it and also all the customers who made it the most popular RV. Not not our it retro was, one. It was RV of the year. Yeah, it was. So Back whenever they made them still. They were limited edition so you can't get them anymore. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting things <laughs> from us. Clearly, we are hilarious. Bye, everyone.